lots of people they are very impatient they just enrolled they reached to fourth week and they started blabbering like how can i get the job what are the relevant skills please tell me some interview questions i would don't go behind that you have to apply to multiple companies like don't go like that i have applied to 10 companies out of which four are my dream company and they rejected my cv and all apply to 1000 companies and evaluate yourself that if you apply to first 10 companies why you are getting rejected hey everyone this is mansa nagraj from trendy tech and in this video we will be discussing some important topics like whether to become a data engineer a data analyst or a data scientist Which of these roles are in demand and has more opportunities in the IT industry? Also, we will be understanding how to transition seamlessly from other job roles like a test engineer, a system engineer, mainframe developer to a big data engineer. All of this in conversation with a successful data engineer, Ayush. Hey, Ayush, thank you so much for joining in uh, to share your experiences on how to prepare for interviews, how to crack top-notch companies, and many more such informational tips with our viewers. Uh, I would request you to give a brief introduction about yourself to get started. Uh, first of all, hi Manasa, thank you so much for having me on your podcast, and like I really appreciate all the efforts you are putting to guide other students to these podcasts and your informational posts. So thank you for that also. Yeah, so let's start with my introduction. Hi guys, my name is Ayush Paliwal. I have completed my B Tech in Information Technology in 2020. Then. From the college, I got placed into Infosys. In Infosys, my initial training was done in data warehousing. Then they have a need of like a data engineer, so they trained me in technologies like Spark and all. And that's how my big data journey started. Right. So, um, as you mentioned, uh, you started your journey with Infosys as a big data engineer. Correct. Correct. Right. Uh, so, how was uh, your experience? How has it been in terms of the knowledge that you have gained while working with Infosys? Did you feel that uh, you had the needed expertise already because of the training that you had received, and you had the confidence in the domain knowledge that you had back then, or did you feel that there was a slight knowledge gap and wanted to understand the internals of distributed processing to get a better career opportunity? Yeah. So actually, I like. Like everyone, I was just a normal student. I was above average, or you can say average in studies. I followed the whole college curriculum, and I tried practicing all the technologies and all the programming language. And I keep myself uh, like uh, I keep improving in everything. Then I placed into the Infosys to, with the help of all the basic knowledge which I acquired in the college. When I got into the Infosys, uh, there is like a two and half month training. Out of which, the first month they will focus on the basics only. Like everything you have learned in past four years, everything will be brushed up in that one month. And after that one and half month, you will be trained in a particular technology. That's where the data world is introduced to me. In that also, they will not go in depth. For example. Uh, it is not like that. They choose big data and they will go in depth in that. They teach you everything about data. Like they told you about data warehousing. They told about your you about data cleaning, about data transformation, about all the tools. Like they just introduce you to the world and teach you how you can use that. After that, when you get a project, then you get to know things in a like a in depth way. So, like I was learning on the job only. Training helped me to introduce me to this, but on the job I was learning everything. And you know that on the job, what happens is that this is the work that comes up. You Google it. You like uh, you Google it and you try to solve that particular problem. You do not focus on the base. You do not focus on the basics. For example, there is a some project comes and it needs a data scraping. So I just search data scraping and start working on that. But I don't know the history that why we are doing data scraping, what is big data, what is Hadoop infrastructure, and how Map and Reduce works. So all these things, all these theoretical things, we always ignore theoretical things. But theoretical things are also as important as practical. So all these theoretical things and the in-depth knowledge, the basic knowledge is not given to you. You just have your hands-on knowledge. Yeah, so I was lacking that 
in depth and theoretical knowledge right okay so when then uh, how did you plan your upskilling journey in that case to fill this knowledge gap that uh, you had um maybe what were the different resources that uh, proved to be beneficial in this uh, phase of yeah so i worked with multiple open resource things like i tried youtube i tried multiple courses on youtube i tried some other companies who sell courses who provide free courses so i tried multiple things uh, like in very first i was confused that in which path i have to move i was confused between data engineering and data analytics because data analytics is also a good opportunity so i was confused in between two but then i researched i also joined the data analytics course so i completed one data analytics course and after completing that that i get get to know that this is not for me because lot of theory and lot of only like they are focusing 80% on the business side and 20% on the technical side but i am more interested in the technical things that how the technical it works how the background thing works how the data pipeline works i was more interested towards this so after that i started learning things on youtube but on youtube also i get to know that some videos are good. there is a particular playlist two three videos are relevant others are irrelevant then you jump to some other youtube channel then you jump to some other youtube video so all these things keep going and in the end what you feel is that your time is getting wasted so that's what i get to know that uh, i need a particular guidance and i need a particular curriculum and road map to enhance my skills that's when i started researching about the books and it, it is one of the biggest thing so much self trainee tech keep coming keep coming then i started researching about them by reaching out to illuminati by reaching out to the people who already completed the course or who are currently pursuing the course so after that i decided yes this is the course uh, i need so then i started with the course in july july 2022 so um how was your experience like um, how did you feel the course uh, improved or enhanced your already yeah. uh, you were aware of uh, certain technologies yeah. you worked on and how did it help your uh, knowledge even further yeah so i like uh, at first i was skeptical that it is just a recorded video or it is just a online course why i am paying such a hefty amount for this course but slowly when course start start getting unfolded uh, at first the pace the pace is like a very slow pace i don't want to say but it is a very slow pace course which is really a advantage because there is a option 1.25x 1.5x so it is slow so that you can learn according to your pace if you want fast you can obviously increase the speed so slow pace first thing i loved it and second thing is the language like so simple english also is like so simple english it is like a fifth grade level english you are learning big data in fifth grade level english that is like a amazing i never felt i was confused that oh the buzzwords keep coming and uh, like everything is what will happen and all so i was very confused at start but when the course start getting unfolded i loved everything i loved everything about the course like uh, doubt solving also you have forms you have multiple mentors you have slack groups so from that also you can get your doubt solved in the end this is the thing thanks for that uh, feedback ayush So, for all our viewers who would like to know more about the Big Data Masters program and the newly launched Ultimate Masters program, I would leave the information in the description below for all of you. So, uh, Ayush, you also highlighted in uh, the conversation uh, a while ago that uh, you were really confused on which roles to pursue for a fruitful professional yeah. career ahead. Perfect. So, uh, this is a scenario for a lot of data enthusiasts as well, uh, with whom I am in conversation, uh, which I have spoken with as well, right? so uh, who are confused whether to go ahead with a data analyst role or a data engineer or a data scientist role what would you suggest um, for such candidates yeah so if you want to interact more with the business side and less with the technical side you can opt for the data analyst if you want a good insight of technical side and you are good in understanding the data and you know how you can transform the data like you are really fluent with the data and comfortable with the data you can go with the data engineering and if you are very interesting 
like if you are interested in the mathematical side and the compute computational side you can go with the data science so it is like a simplest language i can tell so uh, the next uh, the very next question would be uh, like could you please explain the different approaches that uh, you took to get a good number of interview calls uh, were there yeah. any changes in your job application process that were really effective that could help our viewers so i also interacted with multiple people who contacted me after seeing my post on the trendy tech page so the very first thing is like lots of people they are very impatient like they just enrolled in they just enrolled they reached to fourth week and they started blabbering like how can i get the job what are the relevant skills please tell me some interview questions i would don't go behind that just keep focusing on your basics just know the structure that how distributed programming works why hadoop is introduced how hadoop is introduced how hadoop get changed day by day like what is hadoop 1.0 what is hadoop 2.0 after that what is the need of this part because technology like a uh, tools keep coming and going don't focus on tools just focus on the basics that what is big data and what is the data frame so please focus on that that is the first thing you have to be patient just learn everything first focus on learning after that you will absolutely will get the award you will be rewarded for everything what you are given so this is the first thing then after that you have to apply to multiple companies like don't go like that i have applied to 10 companies out of which four are my dream company and they rejected my cv and all apply to 1000 companies and evaluate yourself that if you apply to first 10 companies why you are getting rejected then do some modifications in your cv then again apply to other 10 companies then analyze that yes i am selected in these two companies because my keywords are matching this is the keyword they are that's it that is present in my cv and this is the keyword that is present in the job description so always uh, like uh, manipulate your cv according to the keywords also it should align your skills also because if it is the job description is not aligning your skills you will eventually get rejected in the interview so to select to like increase the chance of your cv of getting selected just focus on the keywords if keywords like a matching around 60 70% then your cv will definitely get selected because there is nothing like a 100% match and companies also are also not looking for 100% match they just to want a 50 60% match then you have to be trainable you have to showcase them that i am open to learn don't just be like i have i have worked on open so i will work on open source only i have worked on cloud computing so i will work on cloud technologies only just be open to learning if you want to increase your chances okay nice those were real good tips uh, moving ahead um, about the interview process in coforge if you can yeah. throw some light on that yeah yeah so it is like a normal company uh, like in india every company in, in every company you have to go through four five rounds very first will be your telephonic round when hr will contact you get your basic details then this is your first technical round then your second technical round in first technical round they will ask you the basic things like basic level of sql and basic level of big data like most of they will focus on the theoretical part only and then the second technical will be like they will give you some real life problem statement and you then you have to solve it it can be a homework problem that they will give you 14 hour 12 hour to complete that problem and send them the solution or it may be the hands on problem where you have to solve in front of them in front of them so this is the third round that is the second technical after that hr round and sorry after that managerial round and after the managerial round then hr round will happen in managerial round the manager will uh, will interact with you so that he can get to know more about you other than your technical skills for the team building purpose and all so overall around 4 uh, to 5 rounds of interview yeah, can be expected 5 uh, to 5 rounds okay. so the next question usually most of them they kind of like face difficulties with uh, ctc negotiation right uh, yeah. so what has uh, if i could ask so what has been your high percentage because uh, i would like to understand the average high percentage 
one can expect when they move into the data engineering domain and sure. uh, how can they better their CTC chances of getting better CTC? Sure. So high percentage is different for everyone. It depends from where you are coming. If uh, uh, like previously you are working at a very low package, then for you high percentage can go as high as 500%. For that you have to showcase them the skills and you have to showcase them that you are the person they want and you are worth it. That is the first thing. And on average, you can easily expect around 50 to 80 percent hike if you, you are working on a good package and you are starting your journey as a data engineer. You can easily get a 50 to 80 percent uh, hike. In IT companies, uh, how it works is that at initial level, you don't get that much money. But after three to five years of experience, you can get a good amount of money. So it all it depends from where you are coming. Right, yeah. I totally agree there. It depends on the companies that you are applying for as well. If sure. Top product-based companies, the high percentage... Correct, correct. correct. Right. And for example, you are working in a service-based company yeah. and yeah. then you yeah. jump to product-based company, high can be like 1000%. Right, yeah. True that, yeah, definitely. Um, so lastly, any top three tips to the viewers who are aspiring to be successful data engineers? Be patient, focus on the basics and Keep revising your skills. Keep revising your things. Don't forget them. Thank you so much, Ayush. It was a pleasure talking to you. And uh, thank you, Manasa. Same here. Thank you for sharing all the information and your experience. Yeah. It will be helping a lot of our audience as well. And uh, we wish you loads of success in your future endeavors. So, guys, if you've enjoyed the video and found it informative, do show some love and support by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. If you have any queries related to career in big data, do let us know in the comments below. We will try to address them in the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.